What is good everybody? It is Spill here and welcome back to another NBA 2K Lab video. And this one, if you've been following us or subscribed for the past two years, we've been doing the 12 days of Swishmas where we drop a ton of content for 12 days straight and this year is no different. We kicked it off yesterday with a post spin technician versus post lockdown video. But for today's video, we're gonna be looking at the Claymore badge and the boost it has to offer. But before we do that, be sure to turn those noties on so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. And if you're looking for tested jump shots with green windows and make percentages for everyone that we We've tested you can become a premium member at nba2klab.com not to mention you get 20% off using code swishmas now without further ado let's get right into the video Claymore is a brand new badge introduced in 2K23 and it seems like 2K made a more concerted effort to show spot up shooters some love this year. This badge actually seems like a much improved version of set shooter last year which is actually pretty worthless but while the boost was solid the activation of the badge itself just wasn't practical. This year it's easier to activate and the boost is still pretty good and the definition of the Claymore badge says that it increases the ability to knock down perimeter shots when spotting up patiently. We put out a video on the activation of Claymore so if you want the exact details on that we'll leave a link in the description down below but in short mike wang says you have to be standing still for at least one second before the pass to get the boost and you'll get the maximum boost when you've been waiting at least four seconds or more claymore can stack with limitless range so if you play off ball on the hash you can also see a benefit from this badge it's tier one for all builds 610 and shorter and tier two for 611 and up now to test claymore we took 200 wide open straightaway threes for each five milliseconds throughout the green window and did this with an 85 three-point rating for each badge level and of course without the badge for a total sample of 11,000 shots looking at the chart the boost here appears to be pretty significant for shots that are slightly mistimed as we see over a 10% boost on both early and late edges of the green window when comparing Hall of Fame to no badge. Hall of Fame sees a huge boost throughout the entire green window while the boost from the gold level and below seem to only be more noticeable toward the later edges and in the middle just slightly. Now this badge actually looks really good especially if it's tier 1. Even if it's tier 2 though, bigs, corner builds, and builds with limited shooting badges should still consider Claymore but only after equipping badges like Green Machine and Catch and Shoot. If you're a primary ball handler though, you still want to avoid it but like I mentioned before, if you're an off ball sharp with limitless range you can also consider the claymore badge since those badges can stack together giving you a pretty nice boost from deep now if you see this badge activate often the hall of fame level looks pretty good if you can afford it but if not silver looks to be a good sweet spot as it's pretty much neck and neck with the gold level now that is all we got for the 11,000 shot claymore badge test all i ask is that you drop a like on the video if it helped thanks for watching it's spill and i'll catch you guys in the next one later